Welcome to Telma's video training on relay box operation and amperage check. In this video, we'll show you how to locate and identify Telma relay box, check operation of the relay box, verify correct function, conduct an amperage test with box connected, and recording and verifying our readings are according to spec. This is the power side of the Telma system and is the first step when starting to troubleshoot. We'll need a few tools for this test. First is a standard flat screwdriver. We'll also need a 400 amp DC clamp on amp meter. We use an ideal model 61-768. Next, we'll need a digital multimeter. Here we're using a Fluke model 110. Also needed is a jumper lead with alligator clips. This aids in the checking process. We start out by locating and identifying the Telma relay box. This box will be mounted to the frame underneath the body of the truck. It can be mounted either on the driver's side of the frame or on the passenger side. The box should be located so that the cover can be easily removed for inspection and testing. The wiring comes out of the bottom to reduce the possibility of liquid intrusion and should not be located under a water outlet such as a fire truck pump discharge or where hydraulic oil or other liquids could enter and damage the internal components. If we see a white box, we have a JD331121. If the box is black, we have a JE341121. Taking the four flat screws to take the cover off the box, we now can see the wiring inside this relay box. Looking left to right, We'll see the first post has a six gauge wire on it. This is the ground wire for the box, labeled either M or minus sign. The next four wires are smaller 18 gauge wires, labeled one, two, three, and four. The E terminal is an unused power terminal. Then we see a red two ot wire in the center. This is the main 12 volt positive coming directly from the battery positive through the battery disconnect switch, if equipped. On the right side of the box, we see six gauge wires labeled Roman numeral one, two, three, and four. The last wire at the right is labeled S. This wire is used to turn on the brake lights when the Telma is activated and is only used in the off throttle and hand control applications. We'll notice a few differences in the boxes. On the white box, there are four mechanical relays at the top of the box and a fuse on the face of each relay. Here's an alternate view of the BAC fuse position. The black box has a main fuse at the top with a cover on it marked fuse. Now that we've identified and located all the components on the box, we can discuss operation of this box. On the left side, terminals one, two, three, and four with 18 gauge wires attached are the signal input terminals from the control system. On the right side terminals, Roman numeral one, two, three, and four with the six gauge wires attached are the output terminals that relay power from the battery to the Telma. There is also an 18 gauge wire attached to each of these terminals, which goes to the dash mounted light bar to turn on the indicator lights. This is a simple relay box. When, for example, signal input terminal one gets ignition plus, output terminal Roman numeral one will turn on and supply battery power to the terminal, as well as the dash indicator light number one. This goes for all stages. When any one post on the left side of the box gets ignition plus, only the corresponding output terminal on the right side should turn on. Now that we know how the box operates, we can dive into doing the full amperage test on the Telma system. To provide enough power to do an accurate check, we need to start the truck and let it idle, high idle if equipped. Remember to place both the multimeter and the amp meter so you can easily see both screens at the same time. In doing an amperage check, we need to gather the truck voltage as well as the current draw during the test. We connect our two digital multimeter leads to alligator clips and clip that onto the positive and negative lead of the relay box. Here we see 14 volts DC, which is the truck's battery voltage. Next, we connect one end of the alligator clip to the positive post to use as a jumper wire. 
Our clamp-on amp meter should go around the main positive red wire going into the relay box in the center. This will give us our total current draw for the Telma. Now we're ready to record our data. We'll need to record amperage and voltage at the same time. So, we take our jumper wire that is connected to the 12-volt power wire and connect it to the terminal marked 1. Record the voltage and amperage at the same time. Then, we follow the same procedure for the next three stages. Use the jumper wire to enable the Telma on each of the four stages individually and record the voltage and amperage. Now we have our data. We can verify it is correct by consulting the Telma Quick Reference Guide. We see here we have a retarder code CK231157 and it should draw 35.5 amps per stage according to spec. Our data shows we were drawing an amperage of 36.3, so this system is operating correctly. That concludes our relay box operation and amperage check video. While doing this test, if you have any deviations to the results we gathered here, please consult our technical support webpage at www.telmausa.com or call us at 800-797-7714. Thank you for watching.